Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and today I wanted to go over the different build settings that are available in Unity 3. Now I'm currently using Unity 3 Beta 3 and you, you can tell the difference because it's black but the import settings were the exact same as, or your, sorry, your, your build settings were the exact same in the previous version of Beta. So you notice here you have the PC Mac standalone, iPhone, iPod Touch, for the iPad, Web Player, Android. I only have a license for these two. So I can only show you these two, but you'll notice the PC Mac standalone, you can select the platform that you want to be on. You can create your debug builds as well as on the iPhone. But what I really wanted to look at was the switch platform part. So let's go find an asset. Look at a wall texture. Okay, you'll notice that at the top you have your basic options. Uh, the texture type, you, there's a lot more different options now. Uh, you can click advance to gain access to all of the options that we used to have before. Uh, the fade range has changed a little bit. Uh, your filtering type. But what I really wanted to look at was down here. Now you can set up different ways that this asset's going to be handled for different platforms that you're going to be building on. So by default, here we go. This is what we're looking at. Now we can set up for the Mac and the PC standalone version, we can come in and override, change the maximum size of this texture, as well as, as well as the different type of compression that we want applied. Now if we look at the iPhone version, we can also come in and override it. It looks like uh, they're giving us the full range for the iPhone texture size as well, but uh, I believe it still only supports 1024 maximum in Unity. You can also pick your texture format that you want to support as well. So how exactly does this work? Well, you pick your size that you want, hit your apply button, come back to your build settings, select the platform you want to build for, hit switch platform, you'll see a little pop-up window, it'll come in and it'll re-import all of your assets and change them to the format and the size that you actually want. So unapplied import settings for okay so it's tell me that it has a uh, and apply it. So we'll go there and we'll apply them now. We'll have to close this. I did apply, I'm sorry. So now with Unity 3 we'll actually have more control over how our assets are going to be handled on different platforms. I'll see you in the next video.